Are you confident with color? My name is Stephanie Wells. I'm a sales director with Mary Kay, and I teach skincare and makeup artistry for everyday women. And this month, my goal is to help you feel confident trying new colors. That's what spring's all about. We see bright, vivid colors everywhere. So today we're going to talk about eyes, eye makeup specifically. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen because I've got some great slides for you. Uh, hello, hello, that's me, Stephanie Wells. So what I have here for you is our agenda for this month. Today, we're gonna talk all about eyes. Next week, we're gonna do cheeks. The week after that, we're gonna talk about brushes because that makes a huge difference with your makeup. And we're gonna put it all together on the 25th. And I wanna invite you to follow along during these color theory classes. And we're gonna put it all together in an application session together on Zoom. So let's go ahead and jump in. Today is all about eyes, eye shape, eye color, trends for this year, eyeliner, mascara, scare up brows, you name it, we're going to talk about it. Of course, the best makeup look in the world will never be a 10 if your skincare is a two. So I want to invite you right now, first of all, say hello, Stephanie. I love hearing from you. It just makes me happy. Um, but I would love to hear from you in the comments. Like, tell me which skincare set that you're using from Mary Kay. Have you tried Mary Kay skincare? My favorite brand is the TimeWise Repair. It's formulated for aging skin, which I have. Uh, and I love that it has the Volume Firm Complex to help firm and tone all this area. It also has retinol and just the right products. If you're not ready for retinol, then you definitely want to check out the TimeWise Miracle Set with the 4-in-1 Cleanser, the Antioxidant Moisturizer, the Daytime Defender with SPF 30, and the Nighttime Recovery with Resveratrol. I love these skincare sets. So if you're using one, go ahead and tell us in the in the comments. Let us know which one's your favorite. If you haven't tried them yet, go ahead and tag your beauty consultant and let her know that you would love a sample in your next order so she can take care of that for you. Again, today we're talking about eyes and Mary Kay's eye shadows are a formulation that's called Chroma Fusion. Now, Chroma Fusion is a pigment rich, life proof eyeshadow that comes in a ton of shades and it holds the shade for 12 hours. This means that when you see the, sh the shadow in the little tray, how many times do you see it and you put it on? And you're like, oh, that's not the color I thought it was going to be. Well, with Mary Kay, you're going to get intense color payoff. So you know the color in the tray is the color it's going to look on your eye. Now, we do have three different types of palettes in Mary Kay. The palette is how you hold your look together. Now, this right here is featured. It's called our Pro Palette. It comes empty and you fill it, you customize however you choose to. If you would love a personal session for that, go ahead and comment and say, I need help putting my palette together and either myself or your beauty consultant will reach out to you. The next palette we have is called the Perfect Palette. Now, this one is just so smart because it can hold your entire look with your eyeshadows, your cheek color, either your cream to powder foundation, or even putting in your highlight and contour shades all in one easy to use palette. So if you like to have like a classic everyday look, this is your go-to look. This is such a great idea for you. The next one we have is our Petite Palette. I have a million of these because I absolutely love them. I love to put together looks based on what I'm wearing. So you can see today I'm wearing um, a blue top. So I knew I wanted to wear my blue eyeliner today. So I made sure to put a neutral eye palette. So I have a little Petite Palette with my neutral colors in there. So uh, you get to totally customize it. It's so much fun. Now, when we talk about eyes, uh, putting on your eyeshadow, what I hear from different people is teach me how to put eyeshadow on for hooded eyes or I have droopy eyes. Everybody has different eye shapes. So I went online for you and I found this beautiful chart of different eye shapes to help you figure out how to best apply eyeshadow for your eye shape. So if you want to, I recommend screenshot this so you can have it to rely back on um, to help you figure out your eye shape. If you've ever watched my eyeshadow videos before, I have hooded eyes. So typically my uh, application is for standard or hooded eyes would work either way. But definitely if you've got close set eyes, um, if you've got 
droopy eyes, definitely talk to your beauty consultant. We can help you with that. You know, makeup is just like tricks, right? It's lighting and tricks and we can teach you everything you need to know. So here's a larger uh, visual there. Tell me in the comments, what is your eye shape? I told you I got hooded eyes, girl. It's okay. Uh, we need to know that way we can go forward. When it comes to knowing your eye shape, the reason why it's important is because that matters for your eyeshadow placement. So depending on if you have standard eyes, close set eyes, hooded eyes, that kind of plays into how your eyeshadow can really just make your look look the best, okay? When we put on eyeshadows, when we pick out the colors, now we get to have a whole world of opportunities when it comes to what color eyeshadows are the best for your eye color. Sometimes you like to pick out eyeshadows based on your outfit. Sometimes you like to wear it based on what's gonna look with your eye color. You know what? Makeup is art. Just play with it, have fun. It's not a tattoo. If you put something on and it's not right for you, use your Mary Kay Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover to remove it and start again. So this might be another screen. You want to screenshot for sure to find out what colors would be right for you. I have hazel eyes. So hazel eyes isn't even listed on this beautiful chart for Mary Kay. And that's okay because hazel eyes were kind of like the happy medium. We can really wear all of the different colors um, from the green eyes to the blue eyes. Maybe you've got hazel blue or hazel brown. They We all air to a different flavor, right? So depending on what top I wear, that's where my eyes kind of pivot in their hazelness, right? Now, the last little slide we're going to look at before we get into some fun application tips, um, these are some trending eyeshadow looks uh, for 2024. So you can see it's a little bit different. They're kind of all the same with slight variations based on if you want a smoky look, intense. I tend to go more towards the classic or the natural lately. Um, I do love a dramatic eye look, though, so sometimes I do pull that out. So today, again, I'm working with my neutral palette and we're gonna just dig in. I'm picking up Blossom. So Blossom is just a great highlight shade. I'm, I'm gonna use it as my base color actually, but I'm using it to brighten up the eye area. I have got um, kind of, I'm flushed a little bit, running all over the house to get ready for you. So my skin is flushed. So this is helping to kind of mat that eye area, the eyeshadow area, so everything looks the same. And then I'm going back over the lid, the part of my eyelid that covers my eyeballs, that's the base area, and I'm putting Blossom over the base so that way it's ready for the next step. And of course, I'm using my all over eyeshadow brush to pick up and deposit that color. The next shade is kind of our mid-tone. Now your mid-tone shade, right here I'm applying for a hooded eye. This is, a, I had somebody ask, tell me how to apply for hooded eyes. So I'm kind of going in a up and a straight over, up and straight over. That is gonna help to push back the fleshy part of that eyeshadow. Now for me, I like a little bit more drama. So you're gonna see me start a little bit more from the outer corners and sweep through the crease. The great thing about the crease brush is it does most of the hard work for you. And hazelnut is just a great grounding color, especially because I'm going to wear that blue eyeliner later. Now I'm going to use my crease brush again to go back with espresso to just intensify that crease. Um, again, wanting to push back the fleshy part of my eye. One trick that I've learned is really helpful when you put your eyeshadow on is to keep your eyes open and look directly at the mirror. Um, sometimes I will, you know, we would close the one eye to put the eyeshadow on. Keep your eyes open because you want to see how your makeup looks when your eyes are open, right? So again, just applying espresso from the outer corners and gently sweeping just a little bit to give that intensified look. Using a blending brush, a clean blending brush to kind of blend out all the harsh edges. edges. Again, a big look for 2024 is that natural look. So I'm going uh, against the grain of my dramatic eye looks and doing a neutral look. And the blending brush is a great way to do that. If you like to do your lashes, this is the point where you curl your lashes. You want to do that uh, with your lash curler before you apply your eyeliner or any mascara, of course. 
When we talk about eyeliner, so there's different ways that you can wear eyeliner, again, based on your eye shape, for sure. And then if you're going out at night versus if you're going to work during the day. So um, for me, I'm applying for, uh, you know, for an everyday look, which is the first column that you see. And um, I want to know, do you wear eyeliner? Do you wear it every day? Or is that something you say for special occasions? I don't know. You can also see here our product spotlight for the Mary Kay oil-free eye makeup remover. This is a must uh, for your makeup area, right? Because we all make blemish boo-boos and we want to correct those for sure. So I'm starting in with the waterproof eyeliner for my top lash line. And I'm using blue today. I'm so excited that Mary Kay's got this back in stock for us. And it glides on so easily. Again, when we put on those eye colors, the goal is to just get it on the face, get it on the eye. And then I'll show you some tricks on how to soften it. Specifically with our smudger brush, I'm gonna use the smudger brush to go back and just gently soften the look of that line. I do love a black eyeliner, don't get me wrong, but lately I've really been enjoying our Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. Um, I love the mascaras and I really want my lashes to pop. And sometimes when I'm wearing black eyeliner, my lashes just kind of fade into the black, right? So when I'm wearing a pop of color with my eyeliner, that lets my lashes be the star, which is super fun because I have very light colored lashes. They're often very hard to see. So here's our different mascaras from Mary Kay. Tell me in the comments, what are you looking for when it comes to Mary Kay mascara? For me, my go-to has been the ultimate mascara. I love it because it works to add volume and length um, and it's just got such great coverage. We know that lashes don't even begin to act like lashes until the second and third coat. So you wanna make sure to allow time in between coats, um, but make sure you go through and add two to three coats of mascara for the best application. And I do like to use the tippy of that wand to go in there and get the little tiny lashes. You got those little tiny lashes in there. I love it. There we go, I'm getting all those lashes. But you see, you can actually see my lashes when I'm not wearing black eyeliner. How about that? Brows. Okay. We're going to talk about brows. Literally my friends, the easiest thing you can do to take five years off your face is by doing your brows. And we have different power tools for brows. We've got the precision brow liner, the volumizing brow tint. I'm curious when you use a brow tint, do you like it to have color or do you wish it were clear? Hmm. Tell me that in the comments. That's a good one. That's a good one. Something may be coming. Okay, so when we're talking about how to apply brows, there's a great little step one, two, three in the center of your screen. Screenshot this if this is something that will help you out. Um, but I'm using that same application here to apply my brows using the precision brow liner to kind of hit that straight underline. So start underneath the lashes to give that lift in, and find that arch where you want it. And then starting point at the center of the nose, finding where that arch is going to be, starting from the center and drawing that line underneath and then filling in on top. That is how you do it. And then of course, filling in the outer edges there for the little tail. There you go. Ooh, now we're feeling like a we're alive. All right, so are you ready to put your own look together? Now that we've kind of walked through that at a pretty quick pace, it's time to do a little fun shopping. So grab a piece of paper, open a notepad on your phone and start your list. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pick out your four eyeshadows for your own petite palette, okay? Uh, so again, the shadows that I used, I used Blossom, I used Hazelnut, and I used Espresso today. Now, if I were using a shimmer, one of my favorite shimmers is either Moonstone or Candlelight when I'm doing a natural look. So it just depends. I don't know what colors would you choose. Go ahead and tell me in the chat here what four colors are you gonna choose. You'll also see we have a liquid eyeshadow. Liquid eyeshadows are great. Um, they go on obviously creamy and they dry and they set with a powder finish. I love to do these on the weekends because it's so easy to apply and I don't have to feel like I got to spend, you know, 20 minutes getting myself ready. I can just put on some pink starlight and mascara and I'm good for the, for the day. Okay. 
Now you got to pick out your mascara. Which mascara are you picking? Again, I use the Mary Kay Ultimate Mascara. It is one of our bona fide bestsellers in black, my favorite color uh, for uh, mascara there. I do also love, and coincidentally, also another Mary Kay bestseller, the Waterproof Lash Love Mascara. Um, I like to use that in the mornings, especially when I'm going to the gym, because, you know, you get sweaty and look, and I don't ever want to have, you know, anything trickling down my face, trailing down my face. So now it's time for you to pick out your eyeliner and your brow kit. So which eyeliner? Today, I showed you the waterproof eyeliner in blue. But we do also have a gel eyeliner, which gives the um, a really, if you like that bold statement in eyeliner, gel liner is where it's at. If you like that classic cat eye, the waterproof liquid eyeliner pen is great. It's very forgiving when you do the little dash lines, but you don't have to do a straight solid line if that's not your comfort level. And then pick out your volumizing brow tint and your liner. My shade in those is dark blonde. Now you've got your look all put together. I love it. You've got your eyeshadows in your petite palette, your mascara, your eyeliner, your brow tint. So here's how shopping is so simple. Just go ahead and comment your beauty consultant's name if you have one and ask her about her special deals for the All About Eyes palette. Now, if you don't have a beauty consultant, you can tell me that in the comments as well, and I will send you a personal shopping link. If you're already my client, you wanna check our VIP group to see what the special deals are. And I recommend that you go ahead and get your look together and you'll have it that way when we get together on a Zoom on Thursday the 25th, we can walk through that whole color application process together. So you've got your list, you've checked it twice, go ahead and snap a picture or screenshot and drop it in the comments. Uh, go ahead and tag your beauty consultant so she knows. What's up next is gonna be all about cheeks. And then we're gonna talk about brushes and proper applicators. And then of course, again, that 25th, we're gonna all jump on a Zoom together. So thank you for being part of our Color Confidence series. If you enjoyed this session, I would love for you to just give it a like, give it a follow. If you're watching from my YouTube page, please do hit the subscribe button. That really helps uh, my business grow. So again, my name is Stephanie Wells. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.